Hey, it's Zombie, and today's video is going to be a review in arm swatches of the Sugar Pop palette from Too Faced. The moment I saw this palette come out, I had to get it, and I did. And I just, I love it so much. First, the packaging is the most cutest shit I've ever seen. It's covered in little macaroons. And it's just sweet. Sweet looking. Adorable. A palette that when it's all gone, I will be popping the insides out and using it as a little case to carry stuff in. Because, yeah. Because it's that cute. So let's get to the inside. The inside we have a mirror. Like most of them have. And it says Too Faced Sugar Pop. It used to have like the instructions for different kind of looks you can do. I don't know where those went. And then it has three highlight colors right here. And then it's got three colors here and three colors here. Now, there are three different looks that it, you know, the looks that they recommend, which is Sweet and Spicy, which is the top row. Second row is sugar plums, and then the third row is candy coated. The look I did today, I actually used this palette with. I used blackberry in my crease. I used rock candy all over lid and highlight, and then blue raspberry as my lid. As you can see, so these colors, they are great. There is like one matte in here, but here is just the rock candy color. I just swatched that on my hand for you guys. It's a nice glittery, sparkly, neutral color. Beautiful, works for a highlight. As you can see, it's highlighting my brows. And then the sparkly, it just really sets it off. But a lot of these in here actually are pretty sparkly looking. Like here is Sugar Plum, which is also that way. I'll swatch this. Sugar Plum is more... Uh, is less opaque than the others. I just put like two swatches like on top of each other, two swatches of it. It's it's really good highlight. It's got this nice pinkish tone to it. In the pan it looks purple, but on uh, my hand it looks pink. And then the bottom one, which is Peach Fuzz. This one's a more darker toned one. So if you had tan skin, it would be a better highlight for you than it is for me. So I'm just going to go from top to bottom in each row and swatch those and then we can talk about those so here is the first row right here the top orange one is macaroon the next one is sugared violet and then the bottom one over here is bubble gum on the other side we have molted on the other side we have molted milk ball blackberry and blue raspberry and here is the nice swatches so you guys can focus. There's only one that does not have glitter in it, and that is the Blackberry. And that is the only matte color in the whole palette, and I just love this color a lot. I've loved this color a lot, too. As you can see, I've used it quite a bit. It really, this is what's in my crease, it really blends really easily with the rest of these and other palettes that I've used. Uh, my other favorite in there is Macaroon because it's orange. The orange one, yeah. And I really just love them all. Their textures. The um, the bubble gum has to be built up a little bit if you want it to be a more brighter opaque pink. As well as blue raspberry. That works better wet than it does dry. Dry you have to pack it on and pack it on and pack it on. These two down here are better used wet than they are dry because you're just gonna have to keep packing it on and keep packing it on other than that this palette is flawless and it is amazing and I'm so glad I got it and I can't wait to use it well into fall because that blackberry is gonna get used a lot more too I'm, I'm excited about fall but if you guys would like to see me do another look with this palette just let me know because I know I've already done one and then we have this one I can explore more into the molten milk ball and sugared violet area if you'd like me to because that's the only one I don't, I don't think I've really I've used them like once experimenting so if you guys would like me to do a look just just let me know but that concludes my review and swatches of the Too Faced Sugar Pop palette it is going to be a classic in my collection. 
Um, I definitely, if you are a person that wants to explore color or loves color just a little bit, I recommend trying out this palette because it's got a nice little range and it's perfect for summer. Even though there's not much summer left, I'd say it's perfect for fall too. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope everybody has a great day and I'll see you in the next video.